Hey there guys, it's Shard here, back again with a new video on this channel. If you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But anyways, let's get into it. So guys, in today's video, I am going to be reviewing most of the update features to you guys in a simplified manner to essentially make it easier for you guys to understand the update. So the first thing that we obviously have here in the new update is new cars. So if we go here into the dealership, you actually can see all of these new cars and they have reduced the amount of supercars and stuff like that. They have added this update, but overall there are some, still some pretty decent cars for you guys to go and drive around in. So when it comes to buildings for this update, we actually have three new buildings coming into the game. So the first building here is the quick dollar store which does remind me of bulk food store quite a lot. And in the future as well, it has been confirmed that this will actually become an interactive job. Also, another new feature is actually the tire popping road effects now. So there is actually now a sparking effect when you do drive with a pop tire, which was actually never previously in the game. And fun fact, this is actually Hunter's new favorite feature within this update. Now for the second feature here, this is ragdolling. Now within private servers, if you do have it enabled, you are actually able to ragdoll when you jump out of cars or get smacked into by cars. And this is only a private server feature, so then people do not abuse it within public servers. Now for the other two new buildings, we have the remodeled Verwire store. So this has been in the game before, but they have completely remodeled the building and it looks so much more detailed now. And also we have a new Hina G store, which also is very cool and is not interactive, unfortunately. Also, a groundbreaking feature within, within this update is actually house customization. So now if you claim a house and you press the settings button up here, then you will actually get a customization option where you can add roommates who are also able to unlock and lock your doors. And I'm also pretty sure they are able to customize your house. And also, in order to customize your house, you click on the option that you want to do, and then you can change the color by clicking on the color that you want. And then if you want to change the color of your roof, you can click on the roof option, and then also change the color of the roof. And overall, this is an amazing feature, and is definitely helping make Greenville a much more customizational game. Also, within the WSP job, they have added three new things within the job. So one isn't really related to the job, but now you actually hold down E to open up the door, opposed to before where you just clicked on it. And also there are actually now road flares, which you are able to place on the ground at nighttime and also daytime to show cars basically where they need to go and stuff like that. But yeah, so it's honestly pretty cool. Also, a very anticipated feature for the WSP team has now actually also been added into Greenville, and this is that you can now arrest people. Now, this feature actually last existed, I'm pretty sure, all the way back in GV3, but it does now actually exist again. So, if the person is on the criminal team, and then a button will pop up on this on their avatar, which will say arrest, and if you just hold down E, then you will be able to arrest them as long as they are a criminal, and then you can basically just hold them hostage and do whatever you want with them, which is very, very cool in my opinion. And if you would like to release the person, you can easily click the release button, and there, you can let them go. And I think it's a bit glitched because for some reason he teleported back to where he was. But, um, yeah. Alright guys, but anyways, that's going to conclude it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you did all end up enjoying this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe again. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the live event video, which will be out hopefully later on in the day. But anyways, see you later, guys, and goodbye.